What is up guys, it's Josh with Sobriety Wild. Uh, today we're talking about how faith and fitness are related. So we're talking about the, the faith threshold. And you know, before any of us are gonna be willing to embark on any kind of uh, strenuous endeavor, there's gonna have to be this faith threshold that's gonna have to be reached. And you know, as I kind of talk about, it, I think you'll know what I'm talking about, but there's two things primarily that we need to believe before we're gonna be willing to put ourselves through what we consider to be uh, difficulty or discomfort or, or pain or uh, struggle or any of those things. And those two things are one, that I have what it takes, that I can do it. And the other is that the thing itself is gonna work. You know, if I have a desired goal, like sobriety, um, before I try something like a 12-step program or a treatment center, a rehab or a halfway house, I have to have some element of belief that I can stick it out, that I can be able to make it, that I have what it takes to do what's gonna be required for me to change. And the other thing that I have to believe is that the, the thing that I'm looking at or the thing that I'm looking at doing actually has the power to make those changes. I don't wanna waste my time uh, trying to do something if I'm if I'm not capable of it and also don't want to waste my time doing something if I find out that I am capable of it But even after I did it, it didn't work. So those two things have to be overcome and In order for those things to be overcome the primary tool we have the best tool we have to overcome those things for people is our testimonies, you know in 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 the 12-step communities we talk about sharing our experience strength and hope but that's essentially what we're talking about. It's like, hey, you know, I didn't think I was going to be able to do this. Um, I, I wasn't sure if it was going to work, but I heard enough people talk about how they also didn't think they were going to be able to do it. And they also didn't know if it was going to work and they were able and it did work. Seems really simple, but it's powerful. And so today I want to just take a second and talk about in your recovery, how important was listening to other people's experiences, was hearing people tell you those things in order for you to have, for you to feel like you finally reached that threshold where you believed it just might be possible for you. How did that play a role in your decision for recovery? And how does it still play a role in your ability to maintain recovery? So you guys talk about that and we'll be right back after the discussion.